What up, what up, Wimbush here. And thanks to my friend Tim, that's the senior tech writer over there at Epic Games, he showed me how to properly use the storm within the volumetric cloud update that I covered in my last tutorial. And so since I did cover how to get it set up, make sure you watch that tutorial if you didn't see it. And I'm just gonna jump right into the settings that we need to get into the storm clouds. So over here where we have our volumetric cloud material, I'm gonna click on storm right here and I'm gonna scroll this down. Now where it says storm clouds, I'm gonna left click on this and I'm gonna scroll it all the way up to one and you can already see how it's starting to affect our clouds up there. Now, the best way to see the storm clouds is we want to actually move our light over to where it's about dusk. So I'm going to come up here to my source light and then I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to zero this out. And then I'm just going to move this over until we have our sun maybe over on the left hand side there. And then I'm just going to scroll this down. And if you don't know where I'm doing it, I'm over here inside the details panel. I'm just changing out the rotation so that we have a little bit of dusk here inside of our viewport. Now I'm gonna come back over here to my material and I'm gonna come down here to where it says storm underscore lighting mask. I'm gonna left click on this and scroll this down. And where it says lighting mask bias, I wanna turn this down. Now, once you start getting into the large numbers, you're gonna start seeing we have some clouds here. We're gonna have some color that's kind of manipulating the clouds and that's gonna be our storm cloud. So if we wanna change the lighting mask strength, if I put this down, and now you get starting to see, it's starting to move like a storm. Now we're not gonna see lightning bolts or anything of that nature. It's just gonna do the flashes within the clouds. So if you wanna have lightning, you're gonna to have to do that manually another way. But if you wanted to start getting like these sporadic movements within your clouds there, that's exactly what you need to do to do it. And if you wanna change the color, you click on this right here and you could change this down maybe somewhere around there. So you're starting to change out the storm cloud colors or you could just click on it and change it right here within the color wheel. Now that's gonna be for the cloud color, but if you wanna actually change out the storm color here, you wanna come right here to where it says lightning color. You wanna click on this, and then we can just do this with the color picker wheel as well. So now we can have different color storm clouds that's inside of our cloud volumetric here. Now, if we wanna change the magnitude of how this is working, you wanna come right here to where it says lightning clouds. You wanna left click on this one, scroll this down, and where it says source power, you wanna scroll this over to the left, and you're gonna start seeing it magnified by a lot. So we have a lot of attributes in here to play around with to get the proper cloud settings that you want. And again, it looks better at night. So if I come back over here to my light source and just change out the rotation a little bit further down the desk, now we can really start seeing what's happening in here. Now the scatter looks a little bit off. So of course you're gonna have to come through here and play with the scatters a little bit until you get something that's more suffice for what you're looking for. But that's all there is to it to be able to activate the storm clouds within the new volumetric settings in Unreal Engine 5.5. So I wanna give a big shout out to Tim for showing me how to properly use the settings there. Of course, I did a quick run through. I just wanted to show you how to get this activated, but to make it a little bit more fine tuned, of course, you're gonna to have to go through the attributes there and play around too, you get something that you're happy with. So again, my name is Jonathan Wimbush and until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I catch you in the next video. I see you soon, take care.